A wedding vlog and a Tiffany & Co handbag unboxing. Are you curious how that fits together? Hi and very welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. To be honest, I do not even know how to start this video because there are quite some things I could address. My latest video has been a collaboration with the wonderful Autumn Beckman and as expected I gained quite some new subscribers through that collab so thank you very much Autumn and if you're one of my new viewers I'm very happy you found your way to another one of my videos. Even though this might be a somewhat untypical one. You already can see that I put on quite a fancy dress for a YouTube video and that is to tie the different parts of this video somewhat better together. A few days ago I asked in a poll on my community page if you would be interested to watch a wedding vlog and quite to my surprise because I'm not that much of a wedding person myself of the 50 people that already voted by the time I'm filming this video 76% said yes sure we want to see it and only 14% said no stay to your luxury content and 10% were not really interested but would watch anyways I guess to support me thank you the wedding took place this Saturday, today is Monday, so I fully recovered from the festivity and just put on the same dress that I wore again. And today a package arrived in the mail with a Tiffany & Co handbag that I was planning to wear to the wedding. It should have already arrived on Friday, so one day prior to the party, and I knew it wasn't quite tightly planned, so I did have a contingency alternative bag plan, but I didn't really like that one too much. But I had to take it and I will show it to you in a second. But we'll start this video after this little introducting part with the vlogging part and after that we unbox the new Tiffany & Co bag in my collection. So I guess this video might work for everyone, even the ones that are not into the wedding vlog part but more into luxury handbags. Of course I planned to film a super fancy wedding vlog like the ones you know from YouTube but well turned out for me as an introvert filming a wedding vlog was quite challenging even way more than filming a flea market vlog or filming a travel vlog or at an outlet. I did not really know any people at that wedding other than the bridal couple and some girls that I met for the first time on the bachelorette party that was already a few months ago and it was only one evening. So I didn't really want to shove a camera into anybody's faces and there were two professional photographers and videographers to capture the wedding for the couple so that the guests could and should enjoy the celebration and do not have a mobile phone in their hands all the time to take pictures themselves. And we're stuck more with impressions than a full entire super long wedding vlog and I did chose on purpose not to show the couple up front close up out of privacy reasons. And after the little vlogging impressions we'll come to the unboxing of the new Tiffany & Co bag in my collection that I initially planned to wear to that wedding. The wedding took place at a castle in a small Bavarian village Reichenschwand. So this is Castle Reichenschwand. Here is a sneak peek to the room where the dancing took place later that evening and we can go outside. There was a little table for the gifts but the couple asked for money mainly and there was a table for the guest book. And here we come to the outside area where the ceremony itself took place. A first glance at my outfit, my makeup and my contingency bag. They had a saxophonist that was playing live to popular songs and here we have a sneak peek at some outfits. The handbag highlights on that event were that beach Gucci one and especially that Valentino. The bridal bouquet were white roses, the shoes Amina Moati and the scent of the bride was Eau du Rebarbe Écarlate by Hermès. This was when the wedding ceremony started and I just can't get over that stunning color of the Valentino bag. I have died every day waiting for you.
The four-tier wedding cake was baked by the mother of the bride as well as she sought the wedding dress and veil for her daughter. I felt okay to share the couple's backsides while the cake cutting with you. And this is my entire outfit whilst standing up posing in front of the castle but my husband did not really capture the castle and in a second you will see his incredible video taking skills cause yes there is a little finger blurring the frame. I decided to go for flat comfortable shoes because weddings take hours and I just didn't want to be uncomfortable. This was our table and my full name actually is Marion. And here you see some more of the dining room and the different tables, decoration, tableware. And for the ones that are curious, the menu. I had Zender Filet as my main course. For the wine connoisseurs, here is the wine list. And of course I took the occasion to be fully dressed up to take some cute pictures as well. Not so sure though how cute the photos turned out we took late at night in a photo booth. And yes, the man without a hat is my husband. I'm really glad that I was at least able to put some shots together for you. Some minutes of kind of a vlog. So I hope that I didn't disappoint anyone who was looking forward to it because of the poll. I tried my best, but I'm still learning a lot in the vlogging game. I already mentioned that I chose comfortable flat sandals. These were actually my own wedding shoes. They are from a brand called Konstantin Starke. I guess they are more on the contemporary side. These shoes were around 200 euro and they are very well made with all these sparkling rhinestones and pearls. I didn't lose a single one yet, even though I wear these shoes over and over again, so not just on my wedding day, which was already about four years ago. So I'm really happy with the way these shoes held up. I love to wear them. I think they are very elegant. And I didn't want to wear heels because I am already tall and I don't see a point in suffering for hours from hurting feet. Even though, of course, high heels would have been even more flattering for my legs, but I didn't care too much because that day wasn't about me. And on my own wedding, I was wearing a long dress anyways. So my bag of the day was this pearl sequin clutch on the one side and satin on the other side. I'm not really a fan of the bag. I think if you look close, it looks quite cheap and it actually was quite cheap as well. The brand, if you want to call it that way, is called Peach. And I bought that bag quite a while ago for, I think maybe 30 or 40 euro at TJ Maxx. For this wedding, I paired it with the chain from my Louis Vuitton Felici, because I just hate the clasps on the chain that bag came with. I'm going to insert you a picture because I don't think the camera will pick it up that well. So that high quality chain made it somewhat better, but it still was just an emergency solution bag that at least works very well with the shoes. But now let's come to the Tiffany & Co unboxing part with the package that contains the bag I was planning to wear. Part of it arriving too late is absolutely my own fault. I was watching that bag for quite a while, probably months now, and every now and then I started negotiating with the seller, but she did not really accept my offers. Then I was waiting for a coupon code, then I forgot about it again, and never finally pulled the trigger, but when the wedding got closer and closer, I remembered it, and I started negotiating again, and I think she first asked for 150 euro, and now I ended up paying 120, including shipping. And I didn't buy it sooner, because I really liked the design, but I didn't have an occasion to wear it, and I thought now the wedding is the final trigger I needed to go for it. And I'm not too mad that it arrived too late. Uh, I'm sad that I had to wear this cheap, ugly bag. Well, it's not that ugly, but my heart doesn't beat for it. And I would have preferred to wear the Tiffany & Co one, but I'm not too mad either that, yeah, I just have this bag in my collection now for the next occasion when I need a cute little evening bag. Oh, oh wow. There is a pleasant surprise because the listing didn't say anything about a Tiffany & Co box, but I can see it. The seller told me that the bag, she bought it herself in the Tiffany & Co boutique in Las Vegas and she paid around $750 for it. So tissue, oh, this is such a cute surprise. I didn't expect the box to come with it because it wasn't listed and yeah, many luxury lovers are crazy about the packaging. So it's a nice surprise. And even though I already have a Tiffany & Co wallet and chain in my collection that I bought pre-loved as well, that one didn't come with a box, so I do not have a box of that size in my collection by now. Yay! So let's hope what's inside of the bag is a nice surprise as well. Oh, I 
And one fun detail about the seller. I bought the bag on Vestia Collective and from the same seller I already bought Chanel sunglasses to treat myself with the very first earnings of my YouTube channel. So yeah, it's the same seller. I already got Chanel sunglasses from her. I'm going to link that video for you. And without any further ado, it's not that easy <laughs> to open the box with just one hand. There is even the dust bag, but the dust bag does have some stains, but I cannot be mad about that because I was not even expecting a box and a dust bag. It is a tiny bag, but I knew that because I was waiting for a evening bag. Okay, I'm not sure if the camera who picks up some stains, but I don't mind them. And here we already have a substantial high quality chain. That's great compared to the cheap chain on the bag I went for. And let's check out the bag. Ta -da! It is a small cutie. It is golden. It does have some little marks on the leather that were not really disclosed in the description, but for the price I paid, they are so tiny, probably the camera won't pick it up. But for 120 euro, including shipping, I'm fine with that. And the interior should be a beautiful Tiffany turquoise. Yes, indeed, it is. So it's a pity it arrived just right now, but I'm sure there will come another occasion when I can wear that bag. And the metallic golden leather goes perfectly with the leather on my sandals. So that's everything for today. I would love to read in the comments if you enjoyed the vlogging impression part more or the unboxing part so that I know for future videos on what to focus. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. A wedding to be To watch next, I would recommend you the video that I mentioned with the Chanel sunglasses I bought with my very first YouTube earnings. And here you can subscribe. Mm -hmm.